Hello, hello, hello. I know it's late or early. It could be after midnight. <laughs> um, but I have a praise report, which I don't feel like I've said a praise report um, in a hot minute. So um, this is a praise report. Uh, I just got off the phone. I talked to the nurse and then I talked to Ricky. Um, <clears throat> or talked at him, I guess. I don't know. So it's, it's never a two way conversation, but it's fine. Um, if you guys watched my stories today, uh, he spiked a fever. Um, when the doctor called me, it was like 1230 today, but, um, I talked to his nurse at 830 this morning and she apparently checked his temperature at nine and he was at 307 or the hundred excuse me whoa 103.7 but i didn't get a call until 12 30. anyway bygones it's fine it's whatever um but uh his fever has broke so yay <laughs> um his fever broke they did a uh all over culture. Uh, so they did saliva, they did his arms, they did his, uh, his ET tube. They, they cultured everything to see if they could figure out the source of the infection or the source of the fever, whatever, why the fever came. Um, but right now they do have two antibiotics on board and those seem to be working just fine. His fever is down, or he, he doesn't have a fever. It's back to normal. Um, <clears throat> but the thing that got me, and here is the huge praise, huge, huge praise. And thank you to Marsha who take, took my frantic crying phone call today. Oh, you, oh, yeah, you know, you know what happened. <laughs> Um, anyway, so his vent set, his oxygen, the amount of oxygen that he needed and the pressure that he needed to get it into him never changed. Did you hear that? It never changed. He was at 103.7 fever where with most COVID patients, he, they would have had trouble breathing because it's more than likely a, a thing with their lungs, right? Because they have uh, pneumonia in their lungs, that's normally where the problem is going to be is in their lungs, right? And so then they start having issues with their breathing and they have to have their ventilation turned up, they have to have their oxygen turned up, all of those things. Ricky's didn't change. So if you do not believe in the power of prayer what have you been watching for the last 15 days? Because she, she was like, I, I fully thought that this was just going to be completely a different way. And she goes, I look at his numbers and none of him, his oxidation, oxidation, none of his, none of his stuff went up, just his fever. She goes, which tells me <clears throat> that when we were trying to wean him off yesterday, the sedation, that's why he was getting so frantic. That's why he was not being able to breathe over the, over the vent. That's why he was getting so agitated so quickly was because he was fighting off an infection that none of us knew was there. She goes, so I'm going to guess that's probably why he got so agitated and we couldn't take him off the vent. But the fact that his vent setting is still at 35, he's, I can't say ex, ex, uh, extubatable. He's extubatable. Like they can take that. I keep doing it here, but they can take that thing out. So, oh my gosh, I'm just praying Okay, so here is the plan. I'm going to lay it out in front of y'all. I don't know if this is Jesus' plan. He may, you know, like <laughs> mess up some stuff or create some stuff that we he wants us to do or see or happen or whatever. His plan may be different. But the plan that Andy and I have going on, if 
if nothing else changes between now and then, can you like not do that? <laughs> um, anyway, the plan that Andy and I have is that she will call me at 6 a.m. She goes, so don't freak out when the phone rings. I was like, oh no, believe me, my butt will be awake. <laughs> um, so she's going to call me at 6 a.m. I'm going to talk to him first and I am going to try and keep him as calm as possible as they wean him off the sedation. Um, and she will be the one that's that's going to be there doing it at 6 a.m. That's why we need to do it at 6 because shift changes at 7. Um, and she wants to walk me through it because she's freaking amazing. So if you can send a prayer up for Andy, uh, she's amazing. We want to keep her forever. I told her I loved her today. I was like, can I just tell you something? I love you. <laughs> um, anyway, so that is... That's the plan. Okay. Can that be the plan? <laughs> Please, that be the plan. <laughs> um, so that is the plan for now. Um, but tomorrow at 6 a.m., she's going to call me. I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to try and keep him. Um, tomorrow's my birthday. I think they got this. <gasps> Kimmy, it would be an amazing birthday present. Ah! Um, so... We are going to do our best to keep Daddy calm and keep so him. i excited for Daddy to come back home. Yeah. So, um, that, that's it. That's, that's the, I mean, that's, that, like, I say that's it, but that's huge. Um, so I'm just. Am I still going to be oh, going to school? You're still going to school. <laughs> um, anyway, so I am just. Oh, been a long day y'all like a long long day I feel really bad for the lady at Walmart when I got the phone call from the nurse or from the doctor at 12 30 and I literally collapsed onto the floor that poor little old lady I'm pretty sure she thought that I had broken in front of her I felt really bad but oh that was a, a rough a rough call for me um so this one was Let's so much better shine. they're giving you all the loves and kisses <laughs> anyway so if you guys can just keep praying and just oh just watch god move just watch god move Oof. it's we're been a rough for it's been a, yeah we're gonna pray for him again before bed huh mm -hmm. we always do anyway so i love you all i appreciate you more than you will ever know and we're going to get, let's face it, I probably not sleep, but maybe if I, maybe Wait, I'll take some, I'll, right I'll take some melatonin and, time? Is that yeah, the that's lime time? time, yeah. So I will, no, maybe right I'll there, take some, that uh, other bottled. I don't know, buddy. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so I'm just praising Jesus so, so much for every little thing. You want to pray with, you want to pray with the people? Do you want to pray with them? Okay. Are you ready? Let's pray with them. They can pray with us. You don't have to say it. I'll do it. You want to hold my hand? Huh? Oh, you want to hold this one? Okay. You ready? All right. How about you guys pray with us? Father God, thank you for every single little thing. Thank you for waking us up. Thank you for giving us some sunshine. Thank you for making sure Noah was safe after he hit his head and the nurse called me to watch for concussion. Father God, thank you for breaking Ricky's fever. Thank you for giving him an, one of your angels tonight, Lord. Andy is phenomenal. Bless her abundantly for all the work that she's doing, especially the compassion that she has to the families. Um, that changes everything from this side of the hospital bed. Um, I cannot tell you how much that means. Um, Father God, I just, I didn't think my heart could hold one more thing today. I honestly didn't think that I was going to be able to get off that floor today. But you gave me the strength to stand up. You gave me the strength 
to keep putting one foot in front of the other. You gave me the tools and the people in my life to keep me grounded and to keep me in my faith. Father, and I can't, there are no words to thank you for that. Father, I just pray that Ricky sleeps well tonight, that he dreams of coming home, and that you can breathe your breath of life into him. And he just breathes so strongly over that vent with no anxiety, and he just hangs on to my words and wakes up knowing that how loved he is and how appreciated he is and how proud of you he is. Father God, we thank you for every single thing, even the broken bits. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Good job, dude. All right, you guys. I hope you all sleep well. I hope you all wake up with a renewed spirit and um, a calm soul. And we're and... going to do a live with you guys, and you, you're going to sing happy birthday tomorrow. <laughs> it's not my birthday. It's Kimmy's birthday tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was your birthday. No, not mine. Mine already went by. Anyways, thanks for hanging out, guys. Thanks for hopping on. I know it's freaking late or early, depending on where you are. I love you guys so, so, so much. And um, Looks like we will have, have all good news tomorrow. I can feel it. Day 16 is going to be a good day. All right, you guys. I love you. Get some rest. <laughs>